Hello Libra, welcome to my channel, Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for April 25th through May 1st, 2022. If you're new to my channel, a very warm hello, welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back as always. I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you, your likes, shares, subscribes, and all of your fantastic energy. I have a contest running on my channel. Some of you have heard this before. A deadline to enter is April 30th, so we're almost right at the end. If you're interested to possibly win a free personal reading, all you need to do is number one, subscribe to my channel because it is for subscribers, and number two, leave a comment in the box down below that says, I am open. That tells me that you're participating in the contest. However, it also is a powerful affirmation telling yourself in the universe that you are open and ready to receive blessings and all of the abundance the universe has to offer. This is kind of an exciting week. All right, hang on to your hat, folks. At the end of the week, we've got a new moon in Taurus. Great. New moons are wonderful. They're about uh, new beginnings, making improvements. All right, uh, moving forward. Okay. Um, but the new moon in Taurus has you focused on areas likely where you feel safe and secure, your foundations, right? Your career, your money, your relationships, okay? All of those areas where you are, um, give you that sense of safety and security. So you may be looking at making some improvements. Perhaps you're looking at making some change or starting something new and fresh. New beginnings are very much highlighted with the new moon, and this is a partial solar eclipse that's coming in here. So it's a universal wild card whenever we get the eclipse energy. Kind of shakes things up just a little bit, a little bit gentler. <laughs> uh, Eight of Force is a little bit of a, a lightning bolt coming in here. Um, but the eclipses really do kind of shake up the energy a little bit. Some surprises may be in store for you. It's like a double dose of new beginnings, okay? It's uh, a little bit more firepower with this new moon that comes in here. It's like the universe has its pedal to the metal because we've got Uranus in the mix here as well in a very positive uh, alignment with the eclipse energy. Uranus, of course, the modern ruler of Aquarius, bringing about some rebellion, okay? Bringing about uh, some quick change, possibly. Possibly also. So you could just have something simple as you're changing your mind. Um, maybe you've just got some doors opening for you. Okay, you might get some bursts of inspiration, those epiphany moments. All right, whatever that looks like to you. So be a little bit open. Okay, but make sure you ground and protect your energy. We have the eight of forces coming in here, the lightning bolt, all right? So you may certainly be experiencing some sort of epiphany or revelation, okay? Something that gets your adrenaline pumping, okay? This, uh, see this flash of lightning coming down through the sky. Now, this could certainly be a bit of information. This could just be that uh, little epiphany moment within you, right? Sometimes we just get that little spark, that little flash, okay? Um, possibly something coming in through you, uh, to you through your dreams, okay? Pay very close attention to your intuition because there may be something that's very, uh, becomes very apparent to you, okay? Um, but the lightning bolt can also bring about, of course, some big energy into the mix, okay? Especially a little bit later on during the week. So again, ground your energy, okay? But this does bring in um, possibly even um, a bit of a shakeup for you in some area of your life. And again, this can just be something internal within you, all right? Perhaps it's just this energy where you get to release and let something go old, um, fears and doubts and patterns and things, okay? Or maybe you're just getting that spark, okay? You're just on fire um, this week with this one. But this could certainly be, of course, that quick change, right? Something may come to an end. Something may come to a close. It may be sudden. And this could just be a sudden shift within you, but it could be in your external environment as well. Okay, so maybe expect the unexpected. We have the Oracle of Delphi coming in here for you as well. And this is a very, very... Uh, powerful energy. This shows your intuition, your your psychic uh, prowess, shall we say, is very, very on point and highlighted for you at this time. So again, this lightning bolt energy, this jolt could certainly be something that comes in from your spiritual side, from your higher self, some sort of message, message sent, message received. All right, so your intuition may certainly be pointing you in a certain direction. Follow it, trust it. Sometimes we don't, we overthink, we overanalyze things. And uh, that's quite often when we get to look back later on and go, oh, hindsight's twenty twenty. I knew I should have done this. Okay, that was your intuition giving you a bit of guidance there. Okay, and sometimes we do listen to it initially and then we second guess it. 
Okay, so listen to it on the first go round. All right, you will not be uh, you will not be disappointed. We never are. All right, but this is certainly a time to start new things. Okay, to do something that is right for you, and perhaps this is a time of spiritual growth and expansion for you as well. Hey, anything can happen. All right, when we get this, uh, when we get the new moon cycles. Okay, but also the eclipse energy kind of shakes things up a little bit. So let's see what else we've got coming out for you guys. We'll pull your tarot. If you are enjoying your reading so far, by the way, please don't forget to hit like on this video and subscribe to my channel as well. We've got the moon card coming out. We've got the messenger of water and we have the eight of water, okay? Either leveling up or perhaps making some change. Energy at the bottom of the deck. We've got the three of water coming in here. It's three of cups energy. So this certainly does show that there may be some social influences that are around you, possibly friends, family, okay, those kind of things, but a very positive influence on you. The three of water is a celebratory energy, okay? So you may be expecting some good news, okay? Or maybe you've just got a really positive outlook, okay, for the future. Even if something, even if you need to let go of something or make some change, you're really positive that the outcome is going to be better better for you in the long run. But the three of water can certainly indicate some good news, but that social aspect as well, getting together with friends, with family, having some fun, okay, and then really kind of engaging with those around you on a deep emotional and very positive kind of level. But we do have Pisces energy with the moon card, so this moon cycle could certainly be very prevalent for you. And the moon card does indicate uh, and does remind you about your spiritual self, your intuition, your psychic gifts here, your, your abilities, your uh, extra senses are certainly heightened at this time. So listen to them, okay? They're certainly pointing you in a certain direction. But the moon card also brings out creative energy, but also brings out some deep emotions to the mix here as well, okay? So you may be feeling a little bit emotional through the week, Okay, it could be very positive for you considering we've got the messenger of water coming in here. Okay, but you could be feeling very emotional. Perhaps you're engaging with your emotions. Okay, or maybe you're even just leading with your heart. The moon brings about creativity as well. All right, so um, brings in your dreams, your creative side. Okay, all of this wonderful watery energy. So maybe there's a creative project. Okay, that you're looking to get off the ground or maybe even just re-engage in, right? A hobby, something that makes you feel good, something that puts a smile on your face, maybe something you've abandoned for a while. And maybe you're looking to kind of re-engage in that, okay? Uh, sometimes we do get sidetracked, right? Especially if you've got, like maybe you like to read books, um, maybe you like to play guitar, okay, or maybe you're an artist, okay, you're, you know, it's got some sort of creative talent there somewhere, all right, or even just something you need, you like to do, even if you're, don't think you're very good at it, okay, but sometimes life takes over, and sometimes we focus on our work, and we focus on, you know, other things in our world, and we don't come back, to doing the things that we love. So this could certainly be a week here where you're maybe making some plans or you're trying to figure out how to be a little bit more re-engaged with the things that you love, with the people that you love, okay, all of these things. But the moon can certainly bring about uh, some things from your subconscious, okay? Subconscious desires, subconscious feelings, something that you've been keeping hidden a little bit may come to the surface. There may be some underlying fears or worries that come to the surface here as well. Perhaps you start to see things in a different light, okay? And when the moon card comes out, sometimes there's some sort of truth that needs to be discovered and you start to get your first whiff of something and you just can't quite put your finger on it and that's where your uh, that's where your extra senses your spidey senses come into play there your intuition okay your inner wisdom right this is where those things start to get a little bit heightened so pay attention to that especially your dreams too with the moon card okay because you might be uh, your dreams may be trying to tell you something in the week ahead okay so, but the moon card does represent cycles in our world as well. And of course, with the new moon, we are embarking on a new moon cycle. So this could certainly be the time to let go of anything that's not working for you or anything that's hindering your progress. And it's time to look forward to take a different approach. We do have the messenger of water. So there could certainly be some sort of an offer or an opportunity that comes into your world in the week ahead. Now, this could be an invitation. 
Okay, it could be something as a surprise. The moon energy does bring out a surprise. Okay, so does the eclipse. So someone in your world, okay, a friend, a romantic partner, a business partner even could possibly bring in some sort of news invitation or maybe opportunity that might catch you off guard, but is ultimately really positive for you. Something that puts a smile on your face. The messenger of water is usually an indicator of good news. It's the knight of cups energy. Okay, so certainly someone could have an offer of love, of companionship, okay, uh, but this can also be you opening yourselves up, opening yourself up to new possibilities, moving forward, taking action. The night energy always is about taking some sort of action and moving forward. All right, so however that looks like to you, perhaps you need to do something that uh, you're a little bit unsure of with that moon energy there, something that you really want, something you desire, okay, but maybe something that brings out a little bit of fear as well, but with the messenger of water, you might just be doing something anyway. Uh, you know, think of, you know, think of um, if you're looking to change your workplace, okay, or maybe you have an expression of some feelings that you need to get out in the open to somebody, right, that can kind of scare us a little bit, because, oh my God, what if it doesn't come back, right? So, you know, but this could certainly be you expressing feelings to somebody in your world here as well. But of course, the messenger of water can also have you opening up to your spiritual self, your spiritual side. It's a time of personal growth for you. And it's certainly a time to maybe follow your dreams, follow your heart, do something that you love and maybe initiate a little bit of change because we do have the eight of water coming here as well. Now the eight of water is the eight of cups energy. So there could certainly be some sort of inner emotional journey that you're, uh, that you're on in the week ahead. Okay. Maybe you're just feeling all the feels. Okay. You could certainly be on a, um, healing journey in the week forward here okay because we do have the lightning bolt here right something goes so that something new can come in so you could certainly in the aid of water be letting something go detaching yourself from something emotionally in order for you to find something bigger and better something that is more positive for you okay so uh you could certainly be making a decision but the aid of water the eight of cups energy can also be one of leveling up Okay, you're making a decision. You may have an opportunity here with the messenger of water. You're making a decision and you're about to level up. You're taking the next steps forward to step into your wishes and your goals and your dreams. Okay, um, because that eight of water, it's like your ship is coming in. You don't always know the destination. Okay, you just need to, you just know that you need to take those next steps. So because the next, the next card, of course, after the eight of water, the eight of cups is the nine of cups, the nine of water, your wish fulfillment. Okay, your attainment of your goals, your happiness, your contentment, your joy. But sometimes when you need to let something go in order to gain something in our lives. So this could certainly just be a transitional energy for you, making a decision, okay, to level up, to step up, take something up to the next level, the messenger of water, something very positive, something that brings in a cause for celebration with the three of water. Or perhaps you have are coming into alignment with your goals and your dreams, okay? Or you're just coming into a truer sense of self, connecting with your emotions and the aid of water here. You're letting something go, okay? Something that is inhibiting your progress, okay? Something that's blocking you standing in your way. And it can certainly be something from the past. It can be just something from the present. It's like, oh, no, I think I need to do something different. Oh, I've put some time and energy into this particular project, but you know what? I think I can do something a little bit better. All right. So you're kind of making a little bit of change there. All right. But your advice from spirit here is the chariot card. Get going, get moving. It's time to follow your goals and your dreams. Get confident. All right. Get everything into alignment. Get your ducks in a row because that chariot energy is you following your destiny following your path forward, um, making tracks, get, taking action, um, being confident, being bold and being brave and being successful, but all by your own doing, all by your own hand. So Spirit's really trying to give you this confidence boost, this push out the door, if you will, okay? This encouragement to do something that you want to do, to move forward, to initiate some sort of action, okay, and to be confident in your endeavors, to know what you want, to get yourself in alignment here, and then take action. 
Spirit's really trying to give you that little bit of encouragement there. All right. Spirit's also as advice here says, you know what? Sometimes we move forward really, really fast. And sometimes we feel as though we haven't made a lot of forward movement because sometimes we need the extra time. It's not always about action, right? We do quite often need to be open and receptive. You got a lot of water energy coming out here, let me tell you, okay? A lot of emotional energy coming in. So it's not so bad that we've got a little bit of a little bit of firepower with the chariot card here. Okay, but this is Cancerian energy. So, you know, still Cancer is a water sign, right? So uh, again, it might be a really emotional week for you, but maybe again, you're just following your goals, following your dreams, you're leveling up, you're making progress. Okay, and the eight of water can certainly be one of progress as well as is the chariot card. So Spirit's really trying to encourage you here to um, get your spiritual self in alignment with your physical self and then take some action. What does that look like for you? Onwards and upwards? Are you leaving something behind or are you making some improvement? Because the time is now to get going, to follow your dreams. We've got the page of water coming in here. Look at all the water for you, Libra. Man, oh man. Okay, so the page of water comes in as blessings headed your way. This is excellent. This is certainly something very exciting. The page of water is the page of cups energy. Sometimes brings a surprise, an emotional surprise, a creative surprise, okay? Something that puts a big old fat smile on your face, something that makes you feel good, something that makes you feel happy. The pages quite often do deliver news, deliver uh, information, messages, opportunities, and the page of water, uh, you know, um, uh, it could also have to do maybe something to do with your children. Maybe you're spending time with your children and your family in the week ahead. Okay, but pages always bring new, they bring news, and they can also represent children. So perhaps you are getting in touch with your uh, inner child. Okay, not so bad, right? All work and no play. Ooh, not good for anybody. Okay, it's time to get back on track here, Libra. Time to get everything back in alignment, in balance, and harmony. You do not like to be out of balance, right? Um, too much of one thing may be good, but it's at the sacrifice of something else. All right, but the page of water, you could certainly be getting something really good, good news, something positive, something that you want, something that you desire, okay? And you might need to make a decision, okay? Um, but the page with that three of water could certainly be something to celebrate here, something that puts a smile on your face, but again, the page of water can also be opening up to your spiritual self. Your spiritual gifts and talents are really coming to the forefront. So you could certainly be experiencing some growth in multiple areas, but especially your spiritual self, okay? And also your creative energy here as well, okay? So I don't, you maybe you're feeling really inspired in the week ahead, okay? But I think there's something really positive coming in for you. There may be a loss in order for you to find a gain, okay? And again, that lightning bolt energy, there may be something that you do need to let go of in order for you to find something a little bit better, okay? And, you know, with that eight of water, sometimes we do leave situations that aren't bad, but we're done. But sometimes things just run their natural course, right? Sometimes there's just no more room left for growth, okay? Or we're just not feeling as though we want to continue with something um, in our future. So, you know, so you do need that confidence, okay, to follow your goals with that chariot energy coming in there for you. So let's get a couple last, thank you very much, a couple last messages out here for you. These are moon magic cards, so some powerful affirmations coming in here that may help you along your journey. There's your first one. I am curious about my true nature. I seek to understand myself. The pages do bring out a little bit of curiosity usually, right? So there is your next card. I accept and create more flow and pleasure in my life. That's yes. Okay, your whole reading. It's all about creation, being in the flow, being open, being connected with your emotions, Okay, happy energy for sure. Maybe a little disappointment, but something to be gained. And there is your final message. 
I accept that here now is exactly where I am and that is that it is a place of profound learning. All right, sometimes we're exactly where we, we're always where we're exactly meant to be, okay? Even if we're still on a journey, still on a pathway. All right, so I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here that resonated with you. If there was, please don't forget to hit like on this video. Subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't already. I hope you guys have a fantastic week, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.